Sometimes it seems like the data world moves so quickly that no one has time to publish a book before everything changes. And while it's important to stay on top of ever-changing trends, there are a lot of books, even older ones, that hold a lot of value in today's data environment. From a variety of topics, from data modeling to engineering to how data works in the modern world. For data modeling, we have the Data Warehouse Toolkit 3rd Edition. This is the core book of the Dimensional Data Warehouse. It breaks down the concepts of dimensional modeling and data warehousing, going through concepts like facts, types of dimensions, granularity of data, data marts, and many more concepts you'll come across working in analytics. Following that, it goes into many case studies of actual data warehouses. This book, particularly the first few chapters, are helpful for any data professionals who are going to be interacting with a data warehouse and essential for those doing data modeling or business intelligence work. Even if you plan on using other architectures, dimensional data warehousing will come up. An important side note, don't read anything other than third edition. The early versions were poorly organized and a little bit confusing. After that, we have the Agile Data Warehouse Design Collaborative Dimensional Modeling from Whiteboard to Star Schema. This book goes over the beam process to build out a data warehouse incrementally. It breaks data modeling down into who, what, when, where, why, and how many. It focuses a lot on agile development practices, but it presents building a data warehouse in a really practical way. If you looked at the data warehouse toolkit and are still struggling with how to implement a data warehouse in the real world, this is a good book to pick up. It gives a clear process to follow to work with business experts and convert that knowledge into a data warehouse. It's great for data architects who are tasked with designing a warehouse with limited knowledge of the data, but there's less value in this one for people who don't spend a lot of time modeling data. And then we have Building a Scalable Data Warehouse with Data Vault 2.0. This book breaks down the concepts and approach to building a data vault, which is a form of data warehouse. It's an alternative to the Kimball data warehouse. It goes through the process of building a data vault, specifically using SQL Server. If your primary role is data modeling and you want solutions to some of the issues that are common in the dimensional model, or you're just interested in alternatives, or you specifically need to build a data vault, then this is the book for it. It's not my favorite read, so I'd pass on it if data modeling isn't your favorite topic. For data pipelines and applications, we have Big Data, Principles, and Best Practices of Scalable Real-Time Data Systems. This one is not an overview of big data systems, as the title kind of implies, but rather a focus on the Lambda architecture for real-time data ingestion, which is a critical component of big data architectures, though there's several other options these days. This one's similar to the Data Warehouse Toolkit, where the first few chapters are really good and probably the best overviews of real-time data ingestion, and it's told by one of the creators of key concepts that allow for big data. After that, the book kind of loses itself in practical examples with specific tools that I didn't find too helpful unless I were to go back to them when it's time to actively implement something using those tools. If you're planning on getting heavily into streaming real-time data, this book is great. Just be aware that it isn't comprehensive of all the architectures and tools available today. Next, we have Designing Data-Intensive Applications. This book gives a great foundation for building any applications processing lots of data. It goes over key topics like relational versus versus NoSQL, graph data, data structures, operational versus analytical data, column versus row storage, batch versus streaming, data flows, acid transactions, and much more. It gives a great overview of many of the data options available with the pros and cons of each and helps guide you towards decisions. This is a great option for anybody building an application and they don't know where to start with all of the options that are out there. But I found it particularly useful when I was sort of stuck doing things because that's the way the company does them and I wanted to explore more options that are out there. Data Pipelines, Pocket Reference, Moving and Processing Data for Analytics is a book all about data pipelines. What they are, what they're used for, common infrastructures and tools, how they support analytics, maintenance, and monitoring. This is a short book on the critical basics of pipelines. It will leave you with more questions than answers, but for people starting out or curious about getting into building data pipelines, it's important to know what questions to be asking. And this book will set you in the right direction. And books for people interested in leadership, we have Building Analytics Teams, Harnessing Analytics and Artificial Intelligence for Business Improvement. Uh, this is all about building effective data teams through hiring and growth, how to focus on the important work, and when to do things in 
in-house versus when to use the third-party options, but most importantly, how to productionalize analytic solutions. This book is obviously for people who want to get into leadership or, you know, got thrown into it kicking and screaming, but even if you prefer life as an individual contributor, it's good to understand how teams run so you can help nudge leadership in the right direction. You don't want to end up in an environment where you just complain about how things run but don't have any suggestions to improve them. For BI, we have Storytelling with Data, a data visualization guide for business professionals. This book is all about using data to tell a compelling story in order to actually influence people to act on data. It breaks down the ideal visualizations for various situations, how to reduce clutter to get people focused on the key information, and ensuring data resonates with your audience. This is for anyone who needs to create reports, dashboards, or present data in meetings. It's helpful for analytics people who get frustrated that no one ever acts on the insights they uncover, or just want to have more influence on the direction of a company. The Self-Service Data Roadmap this book is for data teams that want to transition from a centralized analytics operation to a self-service model where anyone in the company can access the data they need to to generate insights. It details how to build out a self-service platform, technology options, getting everyone on board, and eliminating bottlenecks. This is great for teams that struggle to keep up with constant demand for new reports or ad hoc requests at companies with tech and data savvy users who are capable of answering their own data questions. They just need to be empowered to do it. Switching to a self-service model can free up analysts from answering the barrage of easy questions that tend to consume all their time, and then they can focus on the deeper insights that take more focus, research, and expertise. And last, for people who have read all those, we have the upcoming book, Data Mesh, Delivering Data-Driven Value at Scale. If you're looking for something new and intriguing, this upcoming book might interest you. The data mesh architecture attempts to do away with data monoliths, such as data lakes and data warehouses, and even data ingestion itself. It proposes a method of performing large-scale analytics on data across various source systems, and it's definitely an interesting topic to look into, so I'm excited for this one. So if any of these books interest you, please like the video, and I've got some links down below. But just reading books won't really level up your career. You're going to have to act on them. And for tips on doing that, be sure to check out this video here.